Hey folks, it's Tom, the Frugal Prepper. So, uh, this is an AC unit. Uh, the condenser fan wouldn't spin up. Give it a little help, it would start to spin. I could give a little help backwards, it'll start spinning backwards. Um, <clears throat> so, what that is is a starting capacitor. So, I didn't have uh, another dual capacitor, and that's what this one with three prongs on it back here is. That's your dual capacitor. So, that has like uh, 45 microfarads for the compressor motor. That part's working fine, the compressor comes on. That has a five maker farad for the fan on the top, and that one was not working. Now I've ordered that new one, but I'm waiting on it to come in. So I did have this other smaller capacitor. You just wanna make sure you get one that's rated for like uh, 440 volts. Uh, most of the time these are. You can get them in window AC units and all kinds of stuff. But you can, uh, I'll just show you so you'll have a wire that connects here called HERM that's the one that feeds your compressor this red wire coming up is going to be your hot they call that common it'll be marked C that's your voltage in and um, that will be um, usually have one wire going to the fan as well and then there'll be another wire that goes to the fan which is this brown wire and so once it's running this purple wire powers it this wire starts it the brown wire so there's three wires coming from the fan so what you can do is come off i made this jumper right here so that you can come off of this hot the common come into one side of this capacitor and then hook your other side your brown wire from your fan here that gets the five microfarads separated out into this capacitor for the fan motor and it keeps the compressor running off of this one, off the other two contacts. And then you can see this other contact on here that's marked F for fan is just disconnected now. So I'm just not using that capacitor that's built in for that. And then I'm coming off of the uh, hot right here with this jumper. I'm running that jumper down to here. And then my fan, my brown wire from my fan is plugged here. Then the purple from the fan is also plugged in up on this guy to the hot side because it's just supposed to be hooked to hot or common. So um, <coughs> let me move everything off of here. I can show you this too on the diagram. So you'll see what's going on. But uh, this could help you out if you got something you can steal a capacitor out of, like a window air conditioner or something to get it going until so you can get the part if your fan's not spinning. Um, so you can see here, Herm, this is the yellow part. This goes down to the compressor motor. Then you'll see the F, which is a brown wire. And that's this brown going to the fan. And then you'll see PU for purple. And that hooks with the red. And that's hooked to C for common. So the purple is just full voltage. That's your main. And then this is your aux to start it. And that's on your brown. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, a lot, I don't think there's a lot of videos out there that really explain what all that is, let alone explain that you can uh, bypass that and put in a second capacitor if you need to. So let me move on my tools. So I've already got the unit on inside and I'll just plug it in here and show you that it does work. That'll help you guys know what's going on there. I can't stick my fingers in there and point out it's live. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and get the cover put back on this and uh, 